think Daniel has uh, something he wants to say. Oh, really? Or he wants to bring it in. Oh, yes. What is it? Yeah, okay. He wants to bring it in with a little history lesson on what Isonzo is. Oh. Okay. Okay. So let's let's take a look. Daniel, are you there? Wake up. What the fuck was that? <laughs> A, well, guys, I would like to start off with a little history lesson about the Isanzo War. Let me your ears, please. <laughs> uh, the Isanzo Front was a major theater of operations during World War I, located along the Isanzo River on the eastern front between Italy and Austria-Hungary. The war on this front lasted from May 1915 to November 1917. Italy initiated the conflict with an offensive aimed at capturing territory from Austria, Hungary. The Italian strategy was to break through uh, the heavily fortified <laughs> Austro-Hungarian <laughs> positions in the Alps and push towards the Austrian plains. <laughs> Despite 11 major offensives by the Italians, the front saw little territorial change due to the rugged terrain and strong Austro-Hungarian defenses. To row, uh, the battles were characterized by trench warfare, resulting in significant casualties on both <laughs> sides. The Isonzo front was known for its exceptionally high casualty rates, with soldiers enduring harsh conditions, including extreme cold in the winter and stifling heat in the summer. Disease, particularly malaria, also took a heavy <laughs> toll on troops. The mountainous terrain of the Alps posed significant challenges for both sides, necessitating specialized mountain warfare <laughs> tactics and equipment. Both Italian Alpini and Austro-Hungarian Kaiser Jäger units played crucial roles in the fighting. The prolonged stalemate and heavy losses <laughs> on the Isonzo front contributed to widespread discontent and disillusionment in Italy. This dissatisfaction played a significant role in the rise of nationalist and interventionist sentiments, uh, eventually leading to Italy's entry into World War I on the side of the Allies. The battles of the Isonzo Front left a lasting impact on the collective memory of Italy and Slovenia. Today, numerous memorials, cemeteries, and museums along the former front line serve as reminders of the sacrifices made during the conflict. Wow. Jeez. Wow, Daniel. Wow, Daniel. <sighs> that was fucking riveting. Riveting. Holy shit. Fucking Holy riveting, wow, bud. Sexy and smart. <laughs> wow. Jeez. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for that, Daniel. The history lesson of uh, the Isonzo War. It was World War I. God. Um, we won't talk about any more history. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Let Loose is a World War II shooter, though, is it not? Yes, yes. So so a bit of a difference there to begin with. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to go through some points. Um, in the notes, I just smacked some points there that we can talk about. We'll go back and forth what we liked, what we didn't like, uh, and compare the two. Uh, so we have done a few streams with uh, Gillis and Empire playing Isonzo. And it was a hell of a time. If you guys haven't watched that one, there's two streams up. They're about three hours each. Um, the first one, I've put some timestamps in. The second one, I didn't even bother. Um, <laughs> but super fun time. There were some crazy games in that. There were yeah. some crazy one. games in that. Definitely. Like, in that first one, like coming back. From, I had no, oh, like man. there's no way. I I mean, I didn't think there was any way we would have, we were going to cross that one bridge. Yeah. Like, we had to cross the bridge and take the point on the other side. Just mm -hmm. the whole time they were just mm -hmm. basically aiming at us while we were trying to get across. Just, I died so many fucking times, but we just needed one little breakthrough. I think it was like a, a bridge. We had to like create, someone had to craft the bridge. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah I, crafted the bridge. I, I, like, I was lying down. And, I'm yeah. just like, Prone in like the marsh in like the swamp, <laughs> like crafting the bridge, and it was yeah. like boom, and then we were like, whoa, and we could go. And then all you yeah. see is people start flushing across yeah, the bridge. Flushing. Yeah, we just had to get to the little hill because they were on top of the hill just Shooting sniping down. at us. Yeah. And we just had bad. to get to the bottom so they kind of couldn't see us. We'd had to get there, but man, what a fucking game that was. And it was like went to overtime. It was yeah. absolutely yeah. crazy. Oh, did constantly. Yeah, I, I feel I felt like we performed better when the overtime music yes. started. 
It's yeah. Like, All right. Now is our time to shine. Yeah. We got to. We got to do oh. this. Speaking of music, can we throw the songs of music in here afterwards? Mm-hmm. Like whenever we're going getting into the main topic. Start with the Asanzo menu music. Cut it is fucking epic. Okay. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. I had to turn it down. <laughs> I was like, it's fucking sweet. Man, it's so good. But like the, a lot of this game is it's there's so much vert uh verticality, is that the word I'm looking mm-hmm. for? Yeah, oh yeah. To well, it all, all the time. But every game is one it's team like boom, boom. is completely yes. against against like, all odds. Yes, it's, that's exactly what Daniel like was saying in his screwed. overwinded history lesson <laughs> that the Italians were always just getting mowed down, right? Yeah. Constantly getting mowed down. I think the Aust- it's the, very hard. The Austro-Hungarian army was like, "Please, Italians, yes, stop. Yes, yes. We're, we're tired of killing you. Please stop." Yes. And then they're like, "No." <laughs> no. Viva Italia. <laughs> Send more. And, <laughs> yeah, it's but, uh, like, yeah, it's yeah. very apparent in this game that that was the goal, and like it's you have to overcome crazy that to make a game like that though to yeah. heavily disadvantage one side mm. so much. Like that's insane to me. But it's you do it, and like when you when, when you, you do it, win, you're, you're just like, holy fuck, that was so yeah. crazy. Yeah, fuck yeah, yeah. Man, that was one of my high points. Like. The verticality is one of its best strengths and like weaknesses because it is so fucking frustrating if you can't break through that like first line of defense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My god. Uh, as for Hell Let Loose, um, I was able to put a few hours into it before this coming episode. We were doing a lot of things. I was trying to get the merch store open and all that kind of stuff. But I was able to play Hell Let Loose for a total of maybe eight hours. I think it was. Um, before doing this, Jonathan has a few hours in it. Um, I had played we it played before. the other night. I had played it before, and then mm-hmm. we played the other night for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, not much at all. Not maybe yeah. a couple hours, maybe. And Gills, how many you got? You I got have in here twenty-five. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. I, uh, and I've got I've got almost all the footage, almost all my game time. I actually have uploaded onto YouTube. So that is my for the hell let loose for hell let loose yes yeah yeah okay. but mo- the majority of the playtime is is on there because that's more of a mill sim right yeah than Isonzo would De- be. definitely definitely I would consider that more mill sim still has yeah. a lot of arcadey features but yeah. um, definitely uh, so it, when you say arcadey features what do you mean uh you know just just the movement the okay. the, the fact that you can sprint forever in yes, uh, okay. hell let loose the um, uh-huh. Uh, so you're just able to sprint, and there's no um, what, what's the term fatigue when you're aiming down sights. Uh, oh. that, that's that's a big that's a big arcadey feature. That's something that uh, no milsim would uh, let you dare do. do. It would what do you mean? Are you, you saying like you should be breathing heavier? Oh, hundred percent. Yes. Like, yes. Is that a thing in other games? I've never. Oh, hundred percent. I actually get plagued by it in squad to the point where the community always reminds me. They're like, don't. Don't sprint around all the time. That's oh, my really? internet voice. So like you ate after you're sprinting like, you ADS <gasps> and you're just like oh hundred percent. Oh yeah. Yeah. I actually have shorts <laughs> That's crazy. showing me. I and I show myself off and I I'll be sprinting and then I aim down my sights and I'll I'm looking down and your gun is aim just sway. It's just the sway. The sway. You is can't so, hold your breath after sprinting yeah, for so long. The sway is so bad. And uh, <laughs> and I I went wow. They need really. And I said I went. They need to tone this down. And the community jumped down my throat. Oh, They're like, no. You you you've never been in the military before. Yeah. <laughs> you've not a police enforcement. You've never fired a gun before. It's like I I have I have. And I actually <laughs> spoke to some uh, coworkers that have that are in the CAF or have been in the forces. I said, is it like that? And they went, no. <laughs> they said they could. They said there are times where you have to run back and forth, but you you're you they you're trained in a way where you you're always going to be conserved. You have conserved energy to aim down sights and always yeah okay. always yeah yeah because you're trained. You're, you're probably trained so much that when you're doing all this stuff, there's got to be some kind of reserve in your mind. Something kicks like, okay, in. Yeah, you got to stop it or you in. won't be able yeah. to kill people. Yeah, control your breathing. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm. that's why they got you marching for how many miles exactly they're training exactly so but i mean that's fine you know that's uh i mean to each their own right but Mm -hmm. i there's definitely pros and cons to isonzo and isonzo and uh and hell let loose isonzo very arcadey i i like Like, that though 
I yes. like that. Yeah, 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 it's more of a fucking video game. It feels yeah, like yeah. more of a yeah. game than I like, yeah, yeah. I like, I like the loose. I like the hop in, hop out mentality, the quick games. Mm-hmm. The, oh, it, talking quick. about quick. Quick. Well, we say quick, but if Not you've really. played if you've played Hell Let Loose, holy the, shit. There, Hell Let Loose has a quicker game mode, which is it, much it, Yeah, better. we'll talk about that. It yeah. does. But, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm breaking off into the into the time <laughs> lengths. God, it's I, I've played Hell Let Loose games that have lasted over two hours. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, three hours. And they just don't end. Yeah. They just because you're just going back and forth. And that's I think that's a lot of people. There's no time limit Play that sense? for like no. for these people, they're it's like their I don't know D and D game, right? Mm. Yeah. So you want to sit down and play, play like four one, hours of one game of like a board night. game? Yeah. Like oh, I'm gonna play. Hell let loose with my squad tonight, and we're gonna sim that bitch, and we're gonna play three hours of this, and we're gonna take Germany, all that shit. That's one game. <laughs> You're gonna be yeah, sweaty. One game. You're gonna, gonna be tired. Take the point. Oh yeah. The hard. What oh, yeah. was it called? The strong point. The strong yeah. point. I'm gonna take that strong point, and we're gonna sit in there and fucking shoot at people you can't see, and get yeah. shot by people you don't know where they are. But I mean, the Leading. same thing in Isonzo. Like yeah, I yes. never know where anyone is and shoot me. <laughs> so. We sat down the other night, and I was like, okay, well, I don't want to play a two-hour fucking game. Mm-hmm. So we saw that there was another mode called, like, single point, whatever. I don't remember what it was called. It was just one point that you fight over until the time ends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And point. whoever has access, whoever has pos- uh, possession of the flag is wins. I don't mind that. That, that was good. Mm-hmm. That one was good. That was I, on Isanzo. That was on... No, that no, was, was on, on Hell, Hell, Hell Let Loose. Loose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's oh, like a got. quick game mode. Oh, you got to tell yeah. me that. I I cannot play Hell Let Loose on work days. That's how bad it is. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to be in the game. Exactly. It's like, and you I, don't want to quit. Like, could be recording then you've wasted hours. your time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. This is like, it's one point. You just go at it and uh, there is a time limit. And then at the end, whoever has it wins. Mm. Oh, I, I like think that. that's the only way I would play Hell, Hell Let Loose after, yeah. Oh, yeah. after what my experiences with it, which we'll get through, uh, through this little versus but Isonzo that let's jump in let's let's go into my first point okay so after that's a little intro we got the history lesson we got what the what the two are are more t- Isonzo is more of an arcadey uh shooter pushing the line while Hell Let Loose is a more sim with some arcade feels or some arcade stuff going on but it's it's more of a military uh I'd say squad really like getting those orders and listening to your commanders and all that stuff to get your objectives uh, complete. It's really slow. Isanzo, yeah. Isanzo, not much. You don't really listen to... Uh, you don't have to. Yeah. You guys listen to, my, to, listen to my whistle. <laughs> yeah. Go over. <laughs> Run to that bush. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, and then like spawning because of a whistle, like you can spawn faster, the whistle. Um, but let's jump into the graphics and just uh, compare the two uh, quickly here. So Isonzo's graphics, very well done. I was very impressed when I first booted up Isonzo. This game was, what, three years old? Yes. What is this? Yeah. Four years old? Yeah. 2000, yeah. 2020-ish? Yeah. 2019? Yeah. And I was like, holy fuck. I was like, this looks great. This looks great. I cranked all the graphics up. And just being in those um like the trenches and like the rock walls and the textures on everything fucking sick it was very nice the gun models are very nice everything's very nice but i i think like the the way they can get that the particles is because and smoke yeah is because is the did you guys find the arenas much smaller in isonzo right they are definitely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. like like where you're going and where you have to get to is a lot more the map small. Condensed. Smaller. Yeah, the map is much smaller than. Uh, is it though? Hell it I don't know. They do it. They do a Although good I job at making. I don't it look really big. remember the big map in in Hell at Loose because the 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 quick games that we were playing were small. The Hell at Loose maps, like the Huge. like original modes, fucking massive. It's because they're accurate. It's because ah, okay. they and that's something that they pride themselves in. So Stalingrad, for example, is Stalingrad. That is the. That was how it looked. Oh, okay. So it was wow. a okay, big cool. city. Nice. Yeah. See? Oh, so that's it's like crazy. to scale. To scale. Yeah, to scale. Yeah. Oh, wow. So I'm running through the city of Stalingrad when I play Hell Let Loose? Yes. 
Yes. Cool. Yeah, they have images of the what it looks like when back in World War II and what it looks like in Hell Let Loose. And oh yeah, they, they oh, it's man, something they cool. it's something they do pride themselves in, and that's something that they use against other Milsim games like Squad. Mm. Damn. Oh, really? That's cool though. That yeah. is cool. I don't know. They both looked good. I mean, I don't know really which have had the edge. I don't. Maybe Isonzo. I don't know. The smoke looked really cool too. In whoa. The yeah. particles and the smoke and stuff in Hell at Loose is fucking sick. Yeah, like they, when the they planes are good. dropping the bombs, yeah, the oh, man. Art walking artillery barrage. Yeah, the Prometheus artillery barrage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. man, sidestep it. Also, that the gore insane. in Hell at Loose is disgusting. Like yes, bodies really like cool. just yeah. explode, and <laughs> I don't think it's like that in Isonzo. No, I don't. I don't recall no. seeing that. But well, uh, I think you can you shoot people's limbs off and stuff in mm-hmm. Isonzo. Yeah, but, but it's not as bloody, I don't think. No, like I saw like man explode. <laughs> the <laughs> helmet mist? rolling. Red mist. Red yeah. mist. Yeah, that's yeah. what. That's call the, me. What? <laughs> call me red mist. What, was that Hell at Loose or was it yeah, a yeah. That was when we were playing. Oh, Hell okay. Yeah, that's the only way I could tell if I got a kill in, in, a, in Hell at Loose. It's like, mm-hmm. otherwise you have no idea. Like sometimes yeah. you don't even see that. Like if you get a body shot. I'm like, oh, I think you I got don't him. even know that you killed the guy if he's far, far enough away. You're like, well, I think I got him, but if mm-hmm. you see that red mist, that confirmation, yeah, they call me red mist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was getting kills. I was just like, couldn't I just tell. couldn't tell. I, mean, <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't tell yeah. until the end of the match. Whenever you yeah. see your score, like you can't even check your score. Oh no, you can when you die. I think you can check your score, right? Yeah, when you're there for two minutes waiting yeah, to get the, fucking revived. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ugh. Oh man, but uh, Hell Let Loose, I it was more gritty. I felt the the feel and the look was more gritty. The lower quality models of the guns I found mm-hmm. definitely in Hell Let Loose it didn't look as nice looking at my gun. When I'm playing an FPS, I don't really care about anything else. I want my gun to look sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. I just I feel it. I like I, I like looking at my gun. Mm-hmm. And Isonzo, I found myself looking at my gun more often than not than I did in Hell at Loose, but like the atmosphere in Hell at Loose is sweet. Like it's muck, you know, it's gritty, it's muck, it's dark, and you're fighting through the World War II. It reminds me of the movies. Like I'm playing like a movie that I really liked uh, in Hell at Loose. Or like we said, the explosions, whenever the bombs are coming down, just a, this oh, big smoke bombs and it's just dust everywhere. Really well done in Hell Let Loose. I thought that was really sweet. Yeah. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, the sound as well. Yes. So, um, anything else on there, guys? You want to? Did you guys experience anything other than that for any other game? The there wasn't any destructible environments in any of these, right? I don't believe so. So whenever oh, I don't know. So don't whenever you so. bomb something, there's no crater that is has. May, has been made like in uh, Hell Divers. Nope. Okay. Right. Great. Great. No, um, there's, it's not like that in Isonzo either. No. Just the footsteps in the snow level. I yeah. Think you can see. Oh yes. Yeah. Man, that snow level looked so good. Oh, all the all the mountain. <sighs> yeah. Well, any anytime you're on a mountain, it just looks amazing. You just look yeah. out. And you're like, wow. Mm-hmm. This is. And you're like, <laughs> You're expecting to see the Ricola guy. It's like Ricola. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Dark, dead. Dead. Uh, yeah. Spawn die. Uh, spawn die. Yeah. Fuck. Um, which leads us into the next point. Uh, sound. Mm-hmm. Jonathan, what do you got to say about the sound? Uh, I think Hell Let Loose had a better sound, but I think the reason why. Mm-hmm. is because it has to be because of how little information you get visually you yeah. know what i mean from just like what is happening around and where where your opponent is and and what is going on around you the sound is is almost like heightened mm-hmm. you know because you don't have anything else like where are these guys can you hear them like can you hear them screaming if they get shot or if you get yeah. grazed or whatever you can hear them say something you hear the gunshots you hear like everything uh, and it's pretty cool Isonzo's not really like that i don't i don't remember really noticing the sound like in hell at loose 
the positional sound. I'm gonna talk positional sound first, from what I can remember. In Isanzo, I don't remember any. Yeah, because <laughs> it's just madness. That game, it's just constant madness and dying over and over again. That's true. It's much faster. So yeah, yeah there's more. It's happening. a lot faster. More happening. Um, but in Hell at Loose, I didn't find the positional sound great either. Like I, w- I remember being outside of a barn, and I'm like, I don't hear anything. Well, that's because someone's just anything. crouched there waiting for and then, you. You don't hear that. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. But then he was killing people in the barn. Yeah, but and I didn't hear any screaming in the barn, so I just run right in the barn, and there's like a pile of bodies, and he's like running around, and he runs up, and he fucking knifes me, headshots. Right? Um, he must have been a that lot, red mist. That hell let loose. No one's. I think it's because no one is running around in that game. Yeah, everyone's crouched, everyone's sniping. Crouched. Yeah, like and just everyone's lying. not moving. <laughs> yes, Prone, everyone's lying crawling. Down. Yeah, yeah. But the actual sound effects, like the quality of the sound in Hell Let Loose. <laughs> It, it was very good. Yeah. Very good. Like the cracking of those those bullets and the guns and like the, just the popping mm-hmm. when you're popping off shots. Oh, it's so satisfying. I went into the, the training and I went to go shoot some, just to listen to it. I went to go shoot the dummies and the targets. And man, it sounded good. It mm-hmm. sounds so good. Yeah, definitely noticed it for sure. For sure. Um, I saw so though. I don't. I don't think I can really write home about the sound and what I can hear in sounds other than these guys screaming after their. <laughs> oh yeah. After you oh stab them. After, after you, you stab run them. them through with the bayonet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're and they're screaming in Italian. Just oh like, man, uh, that I have one clip of. I don't know if I shared it with you, Gillis, but this one clip where I'm in this little fucking shack, and these guys are rushing in. And one after the other, I'm just You're- killing them <laughs> as they four or five guys in the same sequence. Oh, I'm a, I'm a so them, sorry. Yeah, one of them I shot. I'm like, bah, bah. I'm like, oh fuck. And the other guy comes in, and then I'm like skewering him, and like I couldn't, like, I had to reload, so I had to keep skewering them. <laughs> fuck, it was funny, man. But they're just like all screaming. Uh, uh, my one, demon. Yeah, one after the other. It was hilarious. They scream for a very a long time. <laughs> like they're always like, okay, shut up and die. Like, 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 yeah. like, die. Like, it's so <laughs> dramatic. It's fucking funny though. But that's what Italians are, right? Yeah. Maybe they maybe they put that in there because of it. <laughs> but, fuck. Man, uh yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed it though. It's enjoyable. It's an enjoyable experience. Mm. Other than like now we'll lead into uh, uh, Gills. Do you have anything for on sound? top of the sound? Anything about the sound? Uh, it, it, same same thing. Like I, I saw so you're 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 dying so much that you can't really absorb the sound or yeah. anything. Yeah. And with Hell Let Loose, I would agree with 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 what Nate said. Like the positional is is not not the best. I I do have trouble hearing people that are close by or in some sort of direction, but the overall sound is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh Daniel. Um, Nathaniel, sometimes I wonder how you know all the stuff you do. It's like you you were born for this. I completely agree with everything you always say. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> oh, thanks, Daniel. Wow. Thanks for that. Um, yes, wow. most of what I say is correct. Yeah. Well, I don't know about um, that. Wow. A new man. <laughs> wow. He's, uh, Dan has really turned a new leaf. Yeah, yeah, it seems like he's he's getting into the conversation over there. Uh, lying on lying on his bed, rolling over. <laughs> uh, okay, so sound. If I had to say... It's because... I think it's because... I saw that you're always dying, like Gillis said. Hell at loose, you're alive for maybe 30 seconds more on average <laughs> than I saw in Zo, but hey man, like, I was I was alive for five minutes once and yeah that's and impressive let loose. that does not happen Isonzo <laughs> no eight seconds maybe yeah like Mm-mm. you spawn if you you can get into like a spawning uh like you just spawn and die like 15 times in a row like literally mm-hmm. you spawn and the guy shoots you again the same guy he's watching the spawn points because he knows where they are and he'll just keep sniping you, and there's nothing you can <laughs> you're do until they your stream. Yeah, <laughs> the, the guy in the 
The guy in the bush that you, you yelled at smokes. me to go look for. You gotta get the smokes out. Smokes down. <laughs> yeah. Recon smokes out. Down. Get yeah. the smokes down. Put some gas uh, down, you know? Man, sometimes fucking drove me absolutely insane. Oh, yeah. Absolutely fucking insane. Mm-hmm. I have PTSD and I'm sleeping. I can't. <laughs> After those nights. The bush. Man, the bush. Bush I, just, like I, just, I dream of some guy hiding in a bush. I swear he was there. But Gillis went to go check. There was no one. And there was, there man, was no it's, one. It's worse than hell at lose people in fucking bushes. Oh, like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The hedges. Because we see them at all. Yeah. yeah. The hedges in Nor- in France and Normandy and all yeah. there. And yeah. You can. Well, because they, they put the spawn points in the hedges mm-hmm. in hell let loose. Like all the bushes have spawn points in them because yeah. uh, the leader will put them yeah, in there. Yeah. They'll build right? them there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, Moving on to just, uh, I guess, the. We'll go just a quick game modes. I just put a few in here. There's only one game mode in Isonzo, right? Uh, it's just the so attack defend. I had to look it up, and it says, "I and I even wrote it down." I said, "There's three different sub modes: Mountain oh. War, Strafe Expedition, and Sixth Battle of Isonzo." But it's hmm. under the main mode called Offensive. Right. Okay, so it, it like cycles through yes. during the matchmaking. So yes. you can't really choose the no, mode you're playing. No, it doesn't seem like it. Mm. It like hands you whatever mode whenever you go into the, the match. Yeah, I don't recall there being anything really different. So there's no short yeah. So there's no shortening of Isonzo games. You're in there for the three parts of that match. Yeah. 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 And that's the that's the match, is the three parts of that match. So you have to go through each one of those. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Isonzo can get pretty long. Like our four hour stream was only two two matches, I think. Was no, it three really? matches? No, it yeah. was like four or five. Definitely. Uh, okay. There's multiple games. Okay. They're like forty okay. minutes maybe for a long yeah. game if it's okay. kind of drawn out. Okay. But still, that's pretty long. That's pretty long for if some if you want to just jump into an Isonzo game, but you're gonna be in there for a good mm-hmm. forty minutes, half hour, forty minutes. Yeah. Which is it's decent, I guess, especially when you're doing those like push games. Battlefield is like that too. Yes. Like uh doing the hard point in Battlefield. Hard point, is that what it's called? Whatever. Conquest. Rush. Conquest? Rush is Rush, Rush is, is pretty easy. Rush is faster, I know that. Yeah. But like I was playing Battlefield 2042 the other night mm. and it took me like from beginning to end, it was a long match cuz the map's fucking massive and there's like six different flags that you have to go conquest, right? Mm. Um but it's kind of in the same lines as that. Hell at Loose, on the other hand, uh, there's, I think, three game modes, I believe. Um, I was actually supposed to look that up. I have it written down. <laughs> oh, for the uh, yes. Hell modes? Or the, yeah. hell okay, then you, 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 you two, take it over there. Two, we'll get two modes, uh, Offensive and Warfare. Yeah, but there was a third one, which we, we, we played. It just said uh, for, hell, for Hell Let Loose. And it yeah. says offensive is one team attacks, one defends, and warfare is standard conquest. So that's the but one. Then there's you... a third one. I don't... There's got to be a third one because we played one I where pl- it was just I... like both teams are fighting over this one spot. What the hell is it called? I don't know. I I pulled that off the site, off of the, like them, off of uh, the hell at loose loose steps. Hmm. Warfare, yeah. And, and I wish they would just call it. Every, every there should just be a standard where it's like conquest capture the flag you know capture defend because like don't why call it offensive it's like what's offensive what is that it's like well one team is on the offensive and then one team's defending <laughs> and it's like, it makes no <laughs> sense and then warfare it's like okay well what's warfare oh that's standard conquest so just call it conquest it's yes like, yeah, yeah it's not like ea has a monopoly or some like copyright claim to the word conquest <laughs> So, oh, but maybe a lot of people don't want to associate themselves with associate Battlefield. Them, yeah, with EA and what they call their modes. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's 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 like back in the 2000s when what was it called Horde mode? Every yep. game had some sort of Horde mode, and they all mm-hmm. called it something. But at the end of the day, we all just called it Horde mode because I believe it was Gears yeah. of War or uh, Gears of War or Call of Duty that just coined the term, and then we just all called it that. That's all like gamer, mm-hmm. gamer speak, gamer language. So we all get on the same page quick. Yeah, we just go to whatever most popular game is and what the hell they call it. It's their normally whatever's the most version. popular or the first one that did it. Yeah, it's it's either yeah. or. I'm still trying to find it. There is a third mode. We played it last night. I think it's just called like, ah, oh, fuck. What is it called? Maybe it's new. 
Maybe it's new. You know what? I can't Actually, seem to find it. Apparently, Isonzo... Control Skirmish. Oh, Control Skirmish. Yes, Hell Let Loose, new game mode, Control Skirmish. So it is new. It's... It's new like this, this month. Okay, it's funny you mentioned that because there is another new game mode in friggin' Isanzo. It's uh it was called Ascent Mode. Oh. But I couldn't find I don't know if it's out. They I think they just released it on Steam, like the the news that they're gonna be releasing this game mode, but they have no information on it. Okay. I was quickly also, looking it might online. Be coming. I say mm. yes. Yeah, it's part of their roadmap. Okay, cool. Yes. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, because they released so, the roadmap, and I was so I was reading over it, and and then I was like, oh yeah, they you know the guys want to know for game modes, and I went, what the hell is ascent mode? What is that? Mm-hmm. Nice. That's when you have to nice. ascend up the mountain against it, a bunch it, of it, again. It sounds like just <laughs> another version of go up the mountain and die. Maybe they climb. Maybe <laughs> you're, maybe mountain. you're oh, maybe you're climbing the oh, side oh, of the mountain oh, while they're you shooting know you off you, the fucking. You bring mountain. a good point, Nate, because they uh, in the picture for ascent mode, it had climbing gear. Mm-hmm. Like oh, nice. Ice, ice picks and ropes. Yeah. Yeah. So while people are picking you off the side of the mountain, that <laughs> so, sounds so real we'll, fun. <laughs> so picture will be. Well, we'll try it. Even yeah, easier we'll to die. <laughs> yeah. I did find the third Hell at Loose game mode called Control Skirmish. Mm. That's the one we played the other night. And it is brand new this month, March oh. 2024. So that's why, that's why. Uh, Gillis couldn't find it on their website. Mm. Um, so they have three modes now uh, we played the control skirmish what were the other two Phyllis? Uh the other two was offensive and that's where one team attacks one defends and then there's warfare which is standard conquest which is the big one that's, we'll want, that's the big one where you're fighting over points and the lines yeah, yeah. can go back and forth mm. yeah and, and oh and then to address a question you had earlier there uh, Jono, you said, doesn't it end anytime you that it teams capture a point, the timer stacks on. Oh, so it adds time to the overall timer. Oh, so it just never ends. Sometimes, so, you get, <laughs> so like never ends. Yeah. So, so you, if the so the attacking team and defending team, the defending teams, um, the attacking team's pushing those lines. Yeah. Right. And once he, they win, once they take a flag or a point. That adds ten minutes to the. It'll add. Game. It'll add some sort of time or whatever. Yeah, I can't remember how much, but it will. Yeah, and sometimes it'll get to the point where you say you have six points, and one team will capture five of six. And if they don't, if they don't capture that last point, they still win, but the timer will run down. But say mm-hmm. if the defending team will capture the second and third and oh. fourth, it will just go right back up. And that's where you have those really? two plus hour games. So even if the attackers say they take two or three spots, the de- and the time goes up. Mm-hmm. Mm. When the defender takes those back, the time goes up again. The time will go back up. Yes. Wow. How much okay. time? I'm not sure, but I've seen it go back up. I've been I've been on the losing side, and we've taken the, a second objective, and the time, and I think, oh, I'm almost done, and I look, I go, yeah, like last time I checked, there were six minutes left in the game, and I check, thirty six minutes. I go, wow, okay. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no how do you hear that's when you start hearing everybody in comms going please god just let it end yeah <laughs> oh my god, god. war is but, heck yeah war yeah. is heck boys that's what the people live for that play that game though mm-hmm. just that push that struggle <laughs> um too much of a struggle yeah it's it's quite a bit of a struggle there um but those are the game modes frankly the control skirmish was fun i like to play it i'll probably play more of that I played it on PS5 because getting into Hell yeah. of Loose on the Game Pass version is impossible. You can't do it. Don't even try still. Uh, um, wow. yeah, it just doesn't find I, servers. I played Hell at Loose on controller, which I'm not fond of. Mm-hmm. And I, I would not. I, I play Isonzo on, on mouse and key, which is much better. So, yeah. Bit different. Well, that's because we had to try to get everyone in a game. So everyone's on. I didn't want to buy Hell at Loose. Yeah, I don't on own Hell at Loose. Yeah. And the. The the uh, the version they offer on for free is on Game Pass for PC, and it's I I have not once been able to get into a game. I've mm. tried multiple times. The mm. servers are always full. If they're not full, I go to I go to press in, and it, I can't connect, and I can never get into a game on the Game Pass version. So huh. I was like, "Fuck it, I've never I'll just tried. play it on console." And on console, I get in no problem. Well, you can't argue so, with that. So we all just played on console for the last time we played, um, which was okay. Like for the Series S, I was impressed. I played on the PS5 and the Series S. I was quite impressed with how it handled it. Mm. Uh, I played on I PS5. Was expecting, it was okay. I was expecting it to be a blurry, pixelated mess of 
garbage, but it wasn't too bad. I played on PC. It was fine in 4K. <laughs> in 4K. <laughs> it's fine. It was fine. Uh, it oh, was man. fine. <laughs> All so right. we're... Let's talk about the gameplay. Did we not talk about the gameplay? Uh, oh, yes. This is the next point. Sorry. Scratch what I just said. I had difficulty next because I, I skipped the game mode so that we could talk about the gameplay in a better uh. understanding. So let's roll into gameplay here. Uh, Isonzo. The terrain is really where this game shines, like the big mountain drops and the verticality we were talking before uh, being the biggest biggest strengths and weaknesses in this game. In Isonzo, you're always climbing up the hills and the mountains and going through those trenches. Uh, it's really like grounded, you know? Like you're really like tr- always trying to look for any kind of cover. Something. Yeah. Oh, something. Yeah, you yeah. have something. something. You cannot, all the time. Obviously, yeah. If I you could use die. bodies, I would use bodies, but yeah. <laughs> you will die if you are not hiding. You will just die. You will die either way, but more so, you just got to You'll die get from a covers. grenade that you have no yeah. idea is at your yeah. feet because you don't hear it or see it. <laughs> that's that's like a, uh, what happens in Isonzo. Mm-hmm. Like the grenades, you have no idea. And they take a long time to explode. So even if you Whoa. do see so it, long. you're like, Okay, that was a grenade. Uh, where did it go? Yeah. And how much time do I have? And then you like run away and it doesn't explode to like mm-hmm. five seconds after. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I've tried like, because unlocking some of your guns, like your steps in Isonzo to get new weapons, you have to do certain, certain um, challenges. Yeah, challenges. I've, I've never done those. <laughs> Kill like five people with a grenade? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. You'll be like, stuck people are for already dead before I even toss the grenade. Yeah. Like, you know I'm I mean? going like, to shoot them. <laughs> yeah. Like, or else they're going to shoot me. Yeah. Like, I'm going you have to, to get, like, yeah, you have to get exactly. like, random grenade kills. Like, just by tossing grenades. Yeah. I think that's how I got them. Yeah. It's like, I just ran into, and it's like, I heard the shooting. I was like, what? what? Toss my grenades in there. And then your I potato, pray that your someone blows up. Fucking potato but it sticks. takes so long. And they bounce around, like, stupidly. <laughs> very stupid how they bounce around. <laughs> It's like there's a guy right in front of me or like a guy. In, I know he's in that trench and I'm like, huh. I throw it in there and it goes in. It goes doing and it pops out of the trench and like goes outside. I'm like, what the fuck? And it yeah. blows up out there. Well, the gameplays, the, these are two pretty different yeah. experiences. With Isonzo, uh, I prefer it just because it, it feels more like a video game. It's mm-hmm. a bit less realistic, I guess you say. Um you can actually check your score and see how many kills you have. <laughs> uh, I can check the scoreboard during the game. There's more of a UI. It, hell, it lose very minimal UI. Um, because it's more arcadey, the guns are a bit quicker and snappier, which which isn't saying much. Yeah, for hell it lose because they're still fucking slow. But I can uh-huh. like quick scope guys and fucking mm-hmm. do some form of you know flashy shooting in Isonzo. Whereas in Hell at Loose, there's no chance. Well, but I was playing on a controller, so I guess that's not happening. Yeah. Oh, um, it's, it's not that much different. <laughs> Mouse and keyboard. <laughs> okay. But the game modes, I think I like better in Hell at Loose because you're not constantly like one sided pushing mm-hmm. up a, a hill, you know, depending on what team you're on in Isonzo. Like you're either that one on night, the shit team. Yeah. That is going to yep. be very hard to win, or you're defending, which. That one night, on the I think we well. only got attackers, right? Yeah. The one night. We were attacking the entire All night. All the time. And yeah. we were just getting mowed down just constantly. Yeah. I was just like... You mean... And you can only take so much. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we were from the bottom, like going yeah. up. Yeah, we were yeah. going up. Every match. Every yeah. fucking match. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough. But in Hell at Loose, it's like... It's much more of an even field, mm. it seems. And so that makes for a little bit less frustrating, I guess, but... The game is completely it's more it's slower it's it's definitely more realistic for sure so if that is the kind of thing you're into then maybe that could be for you but i i really like asanzo i don't know it's kind of similar in in hell at loose i guess with the with the officer and you have because gills you would play the officer you would play our officer and we oh i loved it we would be Desk like manager. I'd be scouting, I'd be yeah. shooting up flares, yeah. and then you'd just drop some fucking bombs or put some smoke down. But we were constantly doing something. Mm-hmm. Whereas in Hell Let Loose, you're not constantly doing something. You are either crawling in a bush across a field, 
very slowly. Like it's not the same at all. Like you're pushing the lines a lot slower in Hell Let Loose. Yeah. A lot slower yeah. than like then uh, Gillis behind the desk. He's like, okay, mark some spots for me to drop this gas bomb or drop these mm -hmm. artillery Definitely. shells. In Hell Let Loose, like you need to know <laughs> what also in Hell Let Loose is whoever makes the squad is the squad leader and the, and the officer. officer yeah. And you can't get out of that role. Nope. Mm. So like you're stuck as the officer. So like for people who just want to jump in and play, I think that's another thing is like, I don't want to talk to somebody. I don't want to join someone in the squad. I want my own squad where I'll do my own thing. And people fucking hate that. Yep. And then I'll make my own squad and I'll like, I'm stuck as an officer in the squad. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. And then people are like, let me in your squad. Let me in your squad. And they're like, keep spamming you permission to get in the squad. Like, <laughs> or they, or they so critique then, your squad lead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And how, they'll get you there too. Thing. Yeah. And then in Hell at Loose, you have to listen to the commander who is above all squads, yeah. right? He's giving the overall orders. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, overall like orders. The where to top go. Top dog. Ooh. Yeah, where to refuel, where to get put your ammos down for engineers, like what squad should be where, all this stuff. And I'm like, listen to this guy fucking just yap on the on the mic constantly. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's and always like, how it is. Mute yeah. this guy. Yeah. He's mute like, your commander. <laughs> <laughs> mute, mute this fucking blowhard. Who is this guy? It's like, dog squad. What are you fucking doing? <laughs> he thinks he's Patton. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god. We're man, never gonna get me. to Berlin. Yeah. He's like, so can you let some people in your squad, please? Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. That is so funny. Shut the fuck up. Hey soldier. But, he's like <laughs> He's gonna he's gonna come to you with his Jeep and he's gonna be like, What in tarnation oh, are yeah. you doing? Do you have me muted? He's, yeah, he's starting like beating you in the game. Oh, he's like fuck friendly so fire. Uh, oh, but that is dumb. Overall, yeah, I'd say it's more loosey goosey and Asanzo, and I like that. Where it's it's more yeah. like more arcadey. I don't like the whole. I got to lock in for two hours, two and a half hours, three hours sometimes for Hell Let Loose to enjoy a game. I have to talk to people to actually uh, accomplish something. But like you said, it's like it's almost like a raid night. You're gonna go play. You're gonna yeah, play Hell Let it's, Loose. Yeah, you're it's gonna, an event. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna yeah. make. You're gonna set two hours, and you're gonna play. A match, and if you have a bunch of friends, then I guess yeah, that that's, cool. that's that's what you do. Like when we were playing, the three of us in the Hell Loose, it was fun, but it was a smaller. It was like the, the small the, the control one, yeah. skirmish. We fight over the one spot. That was that was fun. It's it much more similar than yeah, similar to Isonzo than like the main game mode, I guess. Yeah, because it's yeah. just quicker. It's way quicker. That would make it more approachable for me. Yeah, personally, and I think a lot of people. I think that's probably why they made it. Yeah. Right, they're like, okay, people aren't coming in and spending two and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> We've got games yelling these at each days other that are right? so quick, yeah. and then you, then you have hell let loose, <laughs> like playing Risk, <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. like, like Axis exactly. and Allies. <laughs> Dude. Oh yeah. my god, Dude, so man, I met true. a guy. I play hockey with a guy Sunday night who is one of the top ranked Risk mobile players. What? Like what? Risk the app? How the did game? that come out? In conversation, I don't know. I told I told him. I think I told him I was. I play games, and he's a big gamer. And like this guy's like ten years older than me. He's like fifty two or something. Actually, it was his birthday on that day. Fifty two years old. This guy's got twelve hundred hours in Fortnite. <laughs> okay, That's and a like lot. he has an over two point zero kill death ratio in Fortnite. Oh wow! He said he used to be the top ranked player in the world in the game. Kohan 2. Do you know what this game is? I had to look it no. up. Kohan it's from like 2. 2004. It's like an RTS game. It's an well, RTS <laughs> game from 2004. Well, and he it, was the top player. He what would, would it he be said similar he would to? Fucking, it's like a, I don't know, like a, like a Age, of, Age of Empires. Like real time? Like he's real time strategy? Yeah, or real is it turn based on? Yeah, this, look, this looks like an AoE Kind of yeah. like Lords of the Realm, it looks like yeah. it's copying something else that was more popular. Yeah, but he said he, he he would play against fucking three guys at a time and and beat them, and everyone would always tell tell comp, like say he was cheating and all this shit. But yeah, he has forty seven hundred hours in Risk in Risk Mobile. Wow, like wow. he's one of the top players. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a lot of pooping. Oh man, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's fucking funny. But anyway, I don't uh, know how I got into that, but. What were we talking about? 
Uh, we're going to move on here to, uh, we're going to, well, we did the gameplay, everything else. We're just going to jump right into the recommend. Recommend. Recommend which one over the other and why. Um, I believe Daniel has uh, something to say real quick oh. here, actually. Yeah, here is uh, why I like Hell Let Loose, you guys ready? Hell Let Loose strives for realism, offering an authentic World War II experience from um, historically accurate weapons and equipment to detailed maps based on real locations. Um, the game immerses players in the atmosphere of the conflict. The game emphasizes teamwork and strategic coordination. Players must work together to capture objectives, control territory, and <laughs> defeat the enemy. Communication and cooperation are key to success, making for a rewarding experience for players who enjoy mm -hmm. tactical gameplay. The game also fosters a strong sense of community among players, whether teaming up with friends or meeting new allies in game. Hell Let Loose offers opportunities for social interaction and camaraderie. But <laughs> sometimes, man, uh, I hate those fucking mouth breathers on comms. Jeez, do they not know how to mute their stupid mouths? And their weird mouth sounds like moist slops with their lips. It grosses me out like, fuck, man. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Wow. All yeah. Right. Thanks, Dan. Thanks. That's cool. Yeah. Um, mouth slops. He doesn't like the mouth slops. How you really feel. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. That oh, was man. so stupid. Is that actually <laughs> Daniel's like notes? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's Daniel. <laughs> did Daniel tell? Did Daniel give you notes to say on this? No. Are you Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I just know Daniel very well. That's all. Yeah. This mouth slops. Mouth slops in the mouth. For, in the for, mouth for me, it was how he Camaraderie. said Camaraderie. <laughs> Camaraderie. <laughs> Yo, so, uh, someone get a capture on him quick. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, for me, uh, overall, I'd say I'm more of a Isanzo guy. Um, I like I liked the movement the movement around that. I like getting up and down those hills. And just the way it looks, I just love the whole style of Isanzo and the spirit behind it with the the music mm -hmm. and just the amount of yelling and the, the spirit. Yeah, that's a the good language. Word. The spirit. Yeah, the spirit of the game I find is more engaging in Isanzo, and I find myself getting pulled towards Isanzo more than I would ever Hell at Loose, just because Hell at Loose is so daunting into the fact that. Now, well, without the new game mode, I'd have to have spent two hours playing Hell at Loose, and it's not for me. Um, mm. So Isanzo, I can actually... I don't know. I can see people in Isanzo, and I can actually kill people in Isanzo. Hell at Loose, I don't see a fucking thing. I get thing. many kills in Isanzo. Yeah. So, like, yeah, Hell at Loose is completely different. Yeah. So, like, I enjoy killing people. So I I like to kill people in Isanzo <laughs> since I can do it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but in Hell at Loose, that never happens. The thing is, you also die a lot in Isanzo. So it's it's a real toss-up, but I've had more fun playing Isanzo, and it's just more a spirited game. So I'm going to leave it at that. I recommend Isanzo over Hell at Loose. What about you guys? Mm -hmm. uh, I would agree. Um, it's just more of a, a quicker pace. It's a quicker pace. It's, uh, it's more in gauging less waiting but i mean depends like if you're if it's an ass for every seat right so mm -hmm. if you are into that you want to be a slow more methodical quieter game then then obviously hell at loose is i would play hell at loose again like if mm -hmm. i if i could play it on pc i want to i would not want to try it but but yeah, Isanzo is super fun, especially with with a squad and you're all doing your roles. It's very yeah. cool, very very cool. Check out our stream. The timestamps, the timestamps on the streams are are hilarious. So yeah, yeah, I made sure to like pinpoint the funny parts. Yeah, but yeah, I would recommend uh, Isanzo for the more casual gamer, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gillis, what about you? Yep, three out of three. Bad. Recommend really, Isanzo right? as well. I, I, now, this is coming from somebody that plays Squad, which is super similar to 
hell let loose in the terms of how long the games are yeah. and the millstem feel. But for some mm-hmm. reason, and the community already knows, I have some sort of weird animosity towards hell let loose. <laughs> I, it's like it's like some weird bastard child that I just don't want to accept or love. <laughs> It's like I, I I hold squad to this like high pedestal. I'm like, oh, my golden child. And it's like, oh, hell let loose. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and it, but it's like they're so similar in, in in a lot of aspects. But I just don't like hell let loose for some reason. Really? I, I will keep playing it. I, I understand you, there's a large community and there's a large fan base. But I just I, I'm not a fan in comparison to Isonzo where it's like you guys said, it's quick gameplay. Uh, well, quicker gameplay with nice, uh, nice graphics, good sound. You know, it's. It, it's it, there's not too much to grasp it's it's easy to it's easy to look at it's very pretty you die mm-hmm. a lot but you also it's like you said uh, Nate, when the quicker you, respawns yeah, too yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah when you get those it, the, the impossible tasks but when you finally overcome them it's like such a relief and such a yeah. feeling of exhilaration <laughs> you know it's like, like when you crest over that hill that's yeah. and you're in the trenches and you're poking everybody that and was we're just rushing shooting a at point you, like and, rushing a point that we need to get like uh, in overtime and it's there, all of there's, us there there's, there's nothing so better funny. than killing the guy that's killed you 17 times in the <laughs> yeah. last five minutes and you're like yeah. I, you're, you're, done. you're dead now yeah. this is it Get i'll see you in five minutes on the next yeah. hill <laughs> you know that, so yeah yeah that overtime that overtime win on the the vineyard the vineyard uh, map on isonzo was probably peak <laughs> like that was some of the best gaming experience i've ever had <laughs> it was fucking like, fun yeah it was fucking the, awesome between the gas the explosions yeah. the fact the music is blaring and all yeah. of us are yelling at each other uh to mm. one of us just not to die yeah it's like yeah it's, yeah, yeah. It's like somebody just stay alive stay, stay, alive. stay alive so yeah, we can, so spawn we can on respawn you. on you yeah yes. it was oh just, my god the timer is done the, it's we're in overtime we need yeah. to capture this point or we will lose the game uh, none yeah. of it will matter that's <laughs> You can't. Oh, yeah. so that good. was you could not so replicate good. that. Unfortunately, in Hell Let Loose, that I've never been able to. Not with the not with the double time, the twelve extra hours I've put into Hell Let Loose, I've never been able to recreate something like that. Nice. nice. Well, oh, I think Daniel has one last thing to say here. <laughs> Holy fuck, Daniel! Oh no. Um. Uh, well, the thing with Isonzo is, um, it's just a better overall. <laughs> game than hell let loose like the the amount of time sync hell let loose like is insane uh you have to sit there for two and a half hours getting sniped by a bunch of pussies lying in flower fields <laughs> then you got to rely on your dumbass teammates to know what they're doing you know perfect yeah right on that Daniel. is true so i think he's that's a four that's a four for isonzo like four people <laughs> I, I i like i like this version of of daniel he, like, he's re- he's really coming out of his shell he's super direct really not a lot agreeable. of people are gonna like it but you know he's got a stance yeah i, I could respect yeah. that oh my god dude <laughs> all right well i think that's it is that it all right that i all think that's it gillis just uh Plug your plug your channel here real quick. What you do and uh, yeah, do your little plug here. Yeah, you got one. Yeah, it's a, a playing more squad podcast edition. <laughs> Nasty Nate, take it easy, Jono. Bear Shields Gaming. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Are we playing squad? I don't. It's on sale right now. I think. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a great game, but if you, if you're not into the slower stuff, um, mm. where uh, I, I play the the mill sim games and I try to show off other games as well, I try to do a lot of first impressions, you know, uh, on my channel, and I like to show the good, the bad, and the ugly of everything. And, um, I would like to introduce more of other material, but it seems like my channel has been labeled as the Squad Channel. Mm-hmm. That's it. So, but that's okay. I it's it's my channel. I like to put stuff. I'm gonna put whatever I like on it, and because uh, it it in the channel description, it's just about gaming. It's everything that I play, and I'm gonna have footage, big or small. You know, okay. cool. And that's cool. that's it. Actually, brings up. Uh, do you guys talk about like upcoming games? Do you guys ever bring that up? Uh, not very often. There's a there's another one that's uh, coming out. There's uh in April. I thought you guys might be interested in. It. It's called Manor Lords. And that's a manor uh, lords. Manor lords, yeah. And like medieval shit. Another medieval. Oh, I like medieval. And it's a uh, and it's a city building oh. uh, strategy game. So it's going to incorporate city building with total war esque uh, oh, mechanics. Okay. And it's being made. Get this by one guy. And this I, it's, looks a lot like uh, yeah, it's crazy. Henry. 
It's crazy. Oh, really? really? Oh, yeah. don't get me started on Henry. Yeah, it's crazy. It just, so this game has been, and it's a big deal because there's two million. It's it's got two million people on the wish list. It's coming out end of April, and uh, I want to start posting that footage. I don't know how it's going to do on the channel. Do you know you're going to have like milsim games, and yeah, then it's well. like, well, watch as I create this windmill for my peasants. <laughs> yeah. my, and there's like a bunch of people yeah. stabbing at each other in <laughs> they, their yeah, shields. And yeah, and it's it's gonna the community might be like, well, that's interesting. That's very inter- very weird. But it's I I love I, I, yeah, but I love playing those games too. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like they they're they're gonna get their squad fix. You right? will. They're gonna they'll they'll get their squad you fix. Will. But sometimes you gotta yeah. play something. Every else. Wednesday, every Sunday, you'll get your squad fix, and then and then in, in between you'll get other videos as well. Nice. Yeah. And I, I would like to do more collaborations with you guys and and with others, if possible. Yeah. You know, we'll okay, see. Yeah, we're down for that. Uh, we saw Ready or Not on sale, but it wasn't much of a sale. Oh boy, yeah, Ready or Not. Hold hold oh. hold off on that one, just because they're um, that that game. By the way, probably has the best gun mechanics I've ever played in my in mm. in my life, hands down. You guys talk. It sounds sick. If dude, you guys like, like it yeah, sick. it's Sweet. like Nate. If you you specifically say you like looking at your gun, it's a game where you're like molesting your gun, or <laughs> you're like you're, you're like just stroking. You're it. like looking at it and doing all these things and like tactical reloads and stuff. But and it captures. It's probably got the best sound indoors and outdoors. It really captures what firing nice. because you guys have fired firearms before inside and out, and it really captures the just the percussion. Of it, yeah, and yes. I've never had a video yes. game do that oh, before. Oh crap! It was cool. so loud. Yeah, do you shoot a it's firearm so in, indoors and you're like, whoa! You're like, oh, you can yeah. feel the pressure. You can yeah. you, that that game is probably as close as it gets, but it has a lot of things to work on, definitely. Yeah. But okay. I would say get it when it's drastically on sale, and then okay. and then uh, Sergeant uh, Bergel's Gaming can show you the ropes. <laughs> it take you, right. it, it'll be like All right, uh, Sarge, like uh, Denzel Washington training day. Nice. Oh, nice. oh. Nice. Alonzo. Right. Yeah, Alonzo. Alonzo yeah. Asanzo. Yeah. <laughs> My man. <laughs> My man. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to plug. Um, we got the merch store happening. So if anybody wants to support the channel, uh, that's the best way to. One of the better ways to do it, I suppose, is to, uh, the only to help way. us grow there. Um, it's the only lots way of shirts. to support uh, the channel. Well, sometimes if you would like to uh, support the channel uh, with free, by f- freedom, I guess free ways to support the channel, you can always just leave some comments, like, subscribe, review the podcast mm. uh, on your podcast platforms of choice, please. Mm. Uh, that helps us a lot. If you'd like to put your money where your mouth is, you know, you can always order a t-shirt. Um, everything is done through and by us. With a little bit of help of some uh, magic elves that I won't get into, but everything else, we that also gets funneled right back into the show. So whatever we make from those t-shirts, we're putting into either making more designs for t-shirts or uh, using the money to host the podcast or pay for those bills. So anyway, you guys want to help us out there. So Daniel, you want to take this out? Let's go. Let's do it. Huh. All right, it's been a while since I did the outro, but um, I'll, I'll have a go at it, okay. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Elder Trolls Gaming Podcast. We're glad you could spend the time to listen and or watch. Uh, we appreciate it very much. We would also appreciate <laughs> if you would go and fucking drop some goddamn reviews on Spotify or Apple or wherever you listen to us. That would help us out a lot. And go sub on YouTube. We got some fun stuff on YouTube where Nathaniel's Dragon's Dogma 2 short hit like 25k views. That's A first for us. So that's cool. I want to say thanks to Gillis for coming out. It was great having you on the show. Make sure you check his YouTube out if you like a lot of those military sim shooters. He's always dropping some new videos. You never know what's going to happen in those ones, eh? Gillis, right on. Anyway, that's it, folks. We are out of here, and we all hope you have a wonderful life, huh? See what I did there? Awesome. See ya. Wow, cool. Right on. That's it. See ya. See ya. Oh, my God.